Good morning, everybody. Greetings from Mannheim, Germany. My name is Sanjay Saldi, and I hope that you are there listening. You can see me. If you have any questions, just write everything down in the chat. Well, we are here today to understand how key technologies are changing traditional marketing. And for that, I would like to take you to a digital journey. So let's see what, what is it all about, what we're going to talk, and how is the world outside, how are, is the world of companies changing? Well, normally you go to a company, and when you go to a company, there are different departments. There is IT, manufacturing, marketing, or even maybe a recently acquired company. And then suddenly the company decides, oh, we need somebody to help us. So they get external agencies on board and also internal agencies. The problem is that in a crisis like this of COVID and the environmental changes in companies, this system doesn't work anymore because more and more money is going to be saved by not acquiring external agencies. So there is a very good article here why marketing budgets are cut first but should not be. The problem is that the fact is still there that the marketing budgets are cut first. So when we talk about the changes in the digital world, we have to understand that companies normally work on a business-centric strategy. And if they want to grow, they would need to develop a cross-silo team. And to develop that, they would have to change the digital company behavior so that more people understand what is the goal of the company. And in the marketing world or in the economical world, we call that transformation of a company. On the other side, we have to develop a customer-centric strategy. That means that we have to develop a sense of solving needs digitally. And that leads to new business models and here is exactly the point where agencies and marketers can come in and support a business because that is the part of disruption. Well, I studied at the MIT and what I developed there is the so-called transruption. It's a, it's a combination of transformation and disruption. And when I go into companies and consult them, then I developed a benchmark. I call it the TS, the Transruption Score. And if anybody is interested in finding out your own Transruption Score, feel free to go to moscow.saldi.org after this meeting. And then you can just answer six easy questions and then you'll get a score, something like this, about your digital ambition, your innovation culture, your agility, and also tips and tricks on how to improve it. So to really understand where we are in marketing today, we have to go back a little bit. So we have to go back to the middle ages of marketing. Traditional marketing, everybody knows that are print ads, newsletter, events, roadshows, everything that is yeah, traditionally offline. And then digital marketing came in, SEO, SEM, pay-per-click and so on. And that is digital marketing. And for many agencies, this is state of the art. The problem is for me and my customers, this is traditional digital marketing because it's already old. Every student, every child nearly is offering SEO services. We just need to go to certain portals uh, like Fiverr, and there you find people doing all this stuff for very low money. So the question is, how can we as marketers survive in this new environment? And for that, I would like to take you on a journey. 
I would like, like to take you on a journey to understand more how things have changed and how we must react to survive in this new environment. So, look, here is the Stone Age. And in the Stone Age, people used to talk about, okay, big fish eat small fish. When I was studying mathematics and informatics in Cologne, my professor told me, Sanjay, never be the smallest fish because you're always eaten. So we, we, I developed a sense of, of his advice and watched the changes in society. And what I did now is in the Middle Ages, somebody came to the new idea. So what you see here is Klaus Schwab. He's the founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum. He discovered in 2015, in the new world, it's not the big fish, but it's the fast fish who eats the slow fish. But that is already, as I'm telling you, the middle ages of economical changes. Now we are talking about 2018. 2018, disruption came. Disruption means that small companies start attacking any fish of any size. And that means for us that we can be the best marketing company in the world, but suddenly a student, maybe in Pakistan, maybe in India, maybe anywhere in Africa, can suddenly attack our business because he can sell his services online. And what that means for us as a fish is that we are being attacked by piranhas. We call them in my world, and as the director of the European Internet Marketing Institute in Mannheim, we call these piranhas. And for every industry, we do a lot of research for companies to find out these piranhas. Now, for the marketing, for the digital marketing industry, this is the complete background. So what you see here, these are all piranhas attacking the traditional digital marketing world. And all these companies, there are millions of them, are not attacking a company on the company level. What they're doing is they are just attacking in a niche where they are faster, more digital, more excited, uh, more customer centric, and offering cheaper, better, and faster services. But that's not the only news for us, because in 2019, transformation came up. Transformation means that on the one hand, we are being followed and attacked by piranhas. And on the other side, we have big companies, sharks that are attacking us. So we are in a sandwich position. And in this sandwich position, we have to find our way. So. Let's give me, let, let me give you an example because I think this is a very interesting point also for your customers if you are a digital marketer. Because also our companies are in this sandwich position and are being attacked by piranhas in their or, or of their industry and are being attacked by sharks. They may even come out of their industry they don't need to be in their industry so let's give me let me give you an example so let's talk about energizer energizer holding you know the battery company so the battery company went to a consulting agency and they said wow look this is how we would like to bring you up and your share price and we have great ideas we have the best marketing agency and what they did was the advice of the marketing agency was, okay, let's start with Amazon. And then the stock price went up even better than they had thought about. But then something happened. And this is exactly that what happens to many companies who have a very narrow view of the new digital horizon. You know what happened? Amazon developed in Amazon Basics its own 
battery product, learned everything from Energizer, and when they start selling, suddenly this is what happened to the stock price. It fell and it's falling. Now with new ways, Energizer has come up again. But at that time, this was a culture shock because everybody was used to at in Energizer, oh, our marketing people know what they're doing. And Amazon reached 46,000 ratings. Can you imagine that? Normally, you don't reach that with any product. And 54 answered questions. So the main thing we have to think about is, where is the room for the small or even large marketing agency when disruptors from digital marketing world, including those outside of the industry, penetrate the marketing arena? Well, when I was studying at the MIT, what I did was I did a lot of research on exactly this point. And what I found out is that the only way to survive is transruption. And transruption means that we have to put the digital needs of our customers in the center focus of everything that we do. So if we look at our customer today, what is the, our customer really facing in the digital world? He's facing Internet of Things. He's looking at nanotechnology. He's looking at robotics. He's looking at sustainability. He's looking at virtual and augmented reality, 3D printing, artificial intelligence, automation. He's looking at yeah, more and more stuff, big data blockchain, things are coming up, crowdfunding and finance, cybercrime, digital branding, digital disruption, digital law, digital leadership, digital marketing, digital marketplaces, digital society, digital transformation, drones, and e-commerce, and also all the changes in HR, and work, and of course, industry and factory 4.0. Now, our customer has to decide while he's doing marketing or investing money. Let's go a little bit higher than just on the marketing silo. He, the customer has to decide which steps are the next that are exactly the ones he needs to grow his business. So if he wants to grow his business, he has to find out where to go. And here, that is what is happening is if we offer our customers these 24 key technologies piece by piece, then we are only creating new silos for our customers. That means that a company who goes for big data may start with big data and then after one year, two years of investment, it suddenly discovers, oh, we should have talked about Internet of Things. Let's start with Internet of Things. And then the investment in big data and smart data may be lost because these 24 technologies, if you look at them and use them only one by one, then you have a scattered area like you see in the slide. So silos are really the enemy of effective marketing. So uh, here's the marketing week. There's a very interesting article why silos are the enemy of effective marketing. And we should really be thinking about this. Are we, as marketers, creating a new silo for our customer and making his life more difficult, more complex? Or are we offering a complete, streamlined, strategy for the marketing world. So if we put our customer in the center, what I developed was I have developed the circle of transruption and joined all these 24 technologies into one. You see here, I developed this at the Digital Business Strategy Program. And I would like to show you a little bit about the power that is behind this circle. 
So what I did was I started creating video courses on each of this. So you see here Facebook ads and all that stuff. All courses follow one stringent strategy. Of course, for a customer, it's not difficult today to get online courses. There is Udemy and all the other um, places where you can uh, study. The problem is that they all are not streamlined. They are not one stringent strategy. That means in the course A, you may hear, oh, do X. And in the other course, you may hear quite the opposite. So what is happening outside is that customers are being disrupted in their mind. There is so much information there, but it is not streamlined to one strategy. So if you, even you yourself, try it out. If you listen to three Facebook ads, uh, video courses, you will have, even in this one topic, different um, tips and tricks and maybe they are even the contrary what you may have heard somewhere else. So if you want to really understand how we can use it for the customer, let's look at how this circle of transruption really works. And the way it works is very simple. So I talk to customers and get a little bit of a notion of what the company may need. And what I'm going to show you now is a real example of what we can do with this circle. So I take the circle to the customer and then we start talking about, let's say, drone technology. And with the drone, let's combine it with robotics and let's combine it with sustainability. And as an Top, on top, let's also use nanotechnology. So what I do now is I start creating a marketing strategy. I help the customer develop a real new view on all his services and all his products and maybe even develop a complete new channel for this customer. So with this customer, the, you see the best practice is solving human existence problems. So start thinking about how can we use drones, robots, sustainability, and nanotechnology to make human existence possible also in the next 100 years? Well, one of the solutions we came up was the honey drone. This is a, a bee. It's a honey bee. But it is a drone. And with robotics and nanotechnology, now this drone can fly from plant to plant and do the job that normally bees would be doing. And you may know, those who are interested in sustainability, that bees are very important for our existence. Once the bees are gone, after four to six years, humans will have a lot of problems because they won't have plants, they won't have food because these bees are the basic of our human existence. So how to solve it in a digital marketing way is you get this circle and with this circle you start connecting drone technology, robotics, sustainability, nanotechnology and you develop something and it's being tested in the Netherlands where, you know, the Netherlands are tulip lovers and uh, they are afraid of their whole industry, the whole flower industry, once the bees are gone. So they are already working on this. At the moment, they are not 100% autonomous because that is a little bit risky. Um, but at the moment, in, in closed areas or manually, as you see, the lady is remote controlling them, this already works. And it's a great startup. It's a disruptor of a complete industry. Then let's have a look at supply chain management, something more technical. So how could we change supply chain management 
into a new world. And this is the knowledge that marketers need to have today because just to create a website, do some SEO, more and more people can do that at a very low price. And many companies, nearly all of the companies I consult have their SEO um, expert in-house. So they don't even go to an external agency because what companies today need from external agencies is really expert know-how in the digital arena and not only about how to create something, but marketing has to change into a use of all the key technologies in the future. So if you're talking about supply chain management, let's think about blockchain. Let's think about digital leadership. Think about automation. So how would we solve a problem for the customer with these three technologies? Maybe you know Home Depot, and Home Depot um, uses blockchain now and supports that their shipping and all the whole stuff that they're doing works with blockchain and they solve the problem of the shipping dispute and develop a resolution on that. So this was a great project with a lot of uh, th thoughts, with a lot of intelligence, with a lot of love, with a lot of passion. And this is how it worked out. So we have to always think about how can we as marketers not only give the customer the stuff that he can get everywhere at a very cheap price, but how can we make our service more valuable? And how can we also offer ourselves new services, new digital uh, solutions for the problem? And many agencies, I, I mean, I, I consult s some marketing agencies, and what happens is they, they concentrate on one. They say, we just want to do digital branding. And then I ask them, okay, digital branding, and what about virtual and augmented reality. And then they say, oh, yeah, we heard about it. But now is the time that every agency should think about how to integrate these 24 key technologies. And as the director of the European Internet Marketing Institute, I can help you there. Let us really move something in the marketing arena. I want to be part of your future and you can join hands with me and we can do this. I can help you in introducing transruption to your existing customers or to your new customers or prospects that you want to have, and then they should book your services. So also best practice number three is creating a new in-store experience. So let's use, again, some of the parts. Let's use Internet of Things. Let's use digital society and let's use virtual and augmented reality. And one of the best things that is happening in Germany that uh, a big store, a supermarket, is working with me on a new development of exactly the new in-store experience. And that looks like this. So. When you're at home, you have a tablet or a mobile phone. And what you do is you just add your shopping list into it. And what this app really does is it with Internet of Things and the virtual and augmented reality, you just move through the supermarket and it will show you where your products are. You know, the worst thing that happens is I go into a supermarket and I do not know where I can find the thing I'm looking for, or maybe they had a redesign and suddenly things are somewhere else. I know that some of the agencies like to do that with companies and say, hey, um, you must do uh, these changes in, in the structure so that people move around more. But you know, we are living in a, in a new world where the customer is not an idiot. And the customer really knows what he needs to buy and he really understands what is his demand. So um, why not help him get faster through the whole stuff, especially for brick and mortar stores, 
because the digital experience online is that he has a search field, just types in what he's looking for, look at Amazon like that, and he finds it, and Amazon has no interest to keep the person in the store for too long time. Find with three clicks, normally they even have a one-click solution, you get the product, you buy it, and then you're gone. And this is what we have to think about. So even in the offline world, with the online tools, we could create our new experience. Let, let me show you what happens when a company really starts getting customer-centric. So th this is WD40. And I joined them 2014. And what we did was we just gave them... Uh, input and consulting in cooperation with digital marketing agencies because you know my job is this developing the strategy but not implementing it for the implementation we will still need people like you we need digital marketing agencies and experts so i want to open up today my my portfolio with you as experts. So if you want to join me, if you're interested, just get into contact. Contact me on LinkedIn. Contact me on, on Sing, on Crossing. Uh, send me an email. Just get into contact. Let's talk about how we can help. Because what happened was that the stock price jumped by 250%. And the, the great job is done by Gary Ridge, who is the CEO. And he was quite happy that uh, I could travel to the U.S. I did the European markets. And that's why my wish would be, let us work together and make your customers more successful with your services. And that means that we have to really start thinking about how can we win in this digital arena. And to win, to really win in the digital arena, it is about lifelong learning. And lifelong learning means that we have to really understand what the customer needs are in depth and what he really expects from us. So get your benchmark and really understand how it works. And if you want to really understand that where your company could stand and what are the next steps for your business, then I have 10 really important tech developments that are disrupting digital marketing. And I can really, from my heart, I, I, I'm also a digital marketer. Well, I, I had a, one of the biggest uh, agencies in Cologne for SEO and website development. And so I know exactly how the stuff works, but I had to transform my company too. And every three years, I have to transform my business. That's why my top 10 modern tech that you should be working on in the next half year or one year. The first thing is big data. How are you collecting customer data? How are you using campaign performances? And how are you using it to implement future applications? So do you have the knowledge and if yes wonderful but if not then please start now thinking about big data big data is the new gold and any company even a small company with good big data management will overtake every old style company who says we only build on relationships you know with big data you will get better relationships and you will know more about what the company is about and you will develop better relationships. The second is artificial intelligence. It is coming up and it's not only uh, for techies and all that stuff, but artificial intelligence means that are we creating videos and editing them manually 
or is an artificial intelligence creating the whole editing of a video automatically and based on data optimized for our target group or buyer persona. So AI powered technologies don't only help with, with analysis or enhanced customer profiling or even more personalization strategies, they help us with analyzing big data in a way that we can use it. So big data with artificial intelligence becomes smart data. And smart data uh, is, is the, the, the real value of the gold. So just finding gold is not only important, it is where will you invest this gold? Artificial intelligence helps you. So even while developing a website, if you are developing it with the normal tools like Typo3 or Magento, uh, WordPress, the, the, the problem is that you won't be, without artificial intelligence, it will be just a website, but it will not be able to analyze the stuff that is coming in. I'm working on a project where the whole website will be optimized by an artificial intelligence. So no agency will be needed for designing the website because this will be done automatically by the software, by the inter artificial intelligence. Then there is part three, machine learning. So machine learning is, uh, you may even need to understand a little bit about programming languages like uh, Python. I'm doing a course at the moment to learn that. So what we need to do is banner ads, email marketing, social media. With machine learning, you can really send them out to the right people with the right content and headlines can automatically be changed. So think about that, that we can really use this technology to automate our marketing. And the interesting part is companies will be doing this. So the thing is, will you be the winner? Will you be the those who deliver this technology to the company or will you be out of all of the pitches? Then bots, bots are coming up because you have a 24 seven two way channel between consumer and brands. And at the moment, what companies are doing is every company is thinking about of all these technologies, one, by one. But what about if you could offer it as a complete unified strategy? Transruption is a brand that I have uh, uh, registered and I, I can help you in, in exactly delivering this to the companies, your customers, and then if they want bots and you are in the bot industry, perfect. So let, let us join hands. That is most important for all of us if we want to win. Then voice search. You may know that, you may even have one. Uh, I don't want to say the name because then my, uh, <laughs> my lady from Amazon would also react on my calling. So voice search is going to become more and more important. Yesterday I had a discussion about podcasting and storytelling. So for voice search, it will be more and more important that um, uh, we integrate it in our SEO. So just optimizing for keywords is so stone age, but voice search, Google is already adding it to the search results. So we should offer this in our own company. And of course, if we are marketers to our customers, then virtual reality and augmented reality, big steps are being done there at the moment. It is amazing how many um, new developments are there. The glasses are be becoming better. The whole, the whole uh, gear on the head is becoming uh, interactive. And, and uh, maybe we don't even need cables anymore. So go to a, a store where they have a PlayStation or maybe you have it at home or you have kids and ask them how they play with virtual reality. These are new steps because they can help us to connect a physical store to e-commerce. 
and completely bl blur the lines between high street and online shopping experience. But for that, again, it's not only virtual reality, we'll be collecting data. And if we collect data, how are we going to make it smart? And if we have the smart data, how are we going to use it automatically? Then internet of things and variables. I'm sure that you have a watch on your arm, a variable that is already digital. So again, sensor technology, uh, internet connection. Again, it is the connection of different technologies then that lead us to a person's interaction with a brand. And here again, we can use this information to improve our marketing impact. Then, of course, we already talked about that, that is blockchain. Marketers can use blockchain to motivate consumers to read advertising, and we can use blockchain to exactly define where the customer is, and we can record it, we can have all the stuff. Apple and Android are already using this globally. So think about also how far are you with your knowledge in blockchain. And as the developer of Transruption and the director of the European Internet Marketing Institute, I also offer video courses on this so that if you need more knowledge about that, you can update it with video courses. Then beacons, if you have heard about that, I hope so. You can use localization to directly target potential customers and that bridges really the online and physical presence. So we should really be thinking about how to use this stuff. And of course, 5G technology. That means how to connect the whole uh, faster. People in this world now don't just want information. They want it instantly, faster, and they want to have it on their mobile phone. And through 5G, we'll be able to offer more VR and AR, or AR and advertisers who are specialized in this or at least build a certain network around that are those who are going to win. So all this stuff shows that key technologies are changing traditional digital marketing. And it is up to us as a marketer to either develop all these skills in-house in your company and then offer it completely, or the better solution would be, how about creating a network, a system where we all work together. And when we work together, let us fight small fishes because these small fishes, I talked about them as piranhas earlier, they may have a niche, but they may not offer a complete experience. So what my vision would be for the marketing world is something like this. That means that we all are part of a, of a team, of a network, and in this network, we could really face a big shark. We could face small sharks. And here, in this digital world now, even small and medium-sized marketing agencies can overtake the old big fish. So if you have the ambition and you want to really be part of the disruption of your market, not the victim of your market, then it is time to, let's talk, let's sit together. I'm also here, you can connect with me in the chat if you have any questions, if you have any uh, ideas or anything that you need more to understand about this. But transruption is the way we have to go, we have to integrate the transformation of our customer and the disruption of his market into one strategy. And I'm here for you to exactly support you. And don't forget to find out your own business score at moscow.saldi.org 
so that you can just find out in, in some minutes how is your digital IQ and how well are you prepared so that you can win against all of these. Remember, I showed them to you. These are all the piranhas that are entering the market. And these piranhas are entering the market in advertising and promotion, content and experience, in social and relationships, commerce and sale, data and management. And these are specialized, very, very specialized. And the only thing, the only way how we can win against these piranhas is that we become piranhas and join hands. You know, a team of piranhas is much stronger than one piranha alone. And this is what I wanted to give to you today in my session, that if you wish, let us build the biggest agency in the world with your know-how, with one strategy, align to a new way of working. And I'm sure that some of you will con contact me and we together could develop the world's biggest agency developed for customers with all key technologies and imagine how much strength we would have if we all join hands and how much revenue, return on invest we would get if we join in a swarm in a swarm intelligence, your know-how melting with other people's know-how. Isn't that what we wanted when we started in the marketing world? Isn't that what we needed? But why are we still everyone fighting for customers on his own? Why not we all join hands and also get bigger companies that one small fish would never get? And I'm sure that there are companies outside there waiting for us, waiting for you to offer them the right stuff. But if we are too small, then we are not visible. And exactly that is what I want to change. This is my vision. And I hope that some of you will join hands, contact me. Let's talk about how this could work out and let us develop a global, you know, normally uh, agencies like to find somebody in their own country. But today, why not set up a global digital marketing agency? We could become very big, very strong, and support the one or two person entrepreneurs also. Why should always only the very big companies win? Thank you so much for joining me. My time is nearly over. I just have one and a half minutes left and would love to hear from you if you have um, anything uh, to ask, if you have anything that I can do something for you that, um, yeah, there's a question from Christina. Do you know if the recording will be available? Yes, I think for all VIP members or if you just send me your email, I'll, I'll, I can send you also the slides. If anybody is interested in the slides and the whole presentation, feel free to contact me. I'm there for you because my interest is, as I am not a person who implements this stuff, I just support CEOs and CDOs explaining all this stuff in easy words so that people then can decide where really to go. And I am looking for in three projects at the moment, for agencies who are capable to work together on one strategy, align on that, and let's hope that I find these people, otherwise my customers will choose anybody else. And they're all international companies. If you go to my page, saldi.org, you will find all the references. So help the industry to be more successful. Thank you so much for being here. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is Sanjay Saldi. I'm the director of the European Internet Marketing Institute and always there at your service. Thank you so much. If you want to write anything to me, just write everything to me. I'm, I'm really happy to read about you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All the best. Send me your email because I'm seeing your emails here. Just send me your email and say that you had attended my session and I'll give you more information on that. So feel free to send it to me. Thank you so much. All the best. I'm ending the session now. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you for all the input. Thank you. Thank you.